Welcome back once again. Bruce Porter joins us now for this week's Dollars and Cents segment where he takes a viewer's email and tries to answer the financial question on the air. Now, since it's almost the end of 2014, we're going to wing it a little bit today. We're going to talk about some of the last minute financial housekeeping that will give you a much better start to your new year. Welcome right. back. It's good to see How you. How was your Christmas? Christmas was really, really nice. That's good. Christmas is nice. The one thing about this part of the year that's not nice is those tax bills that hit you. <laughs> it's like, uh, can we change that? You know, it's a terrible time for those no, to come. But that's one of the things that bears reminding. Get that's, those suckers in the mail. That's exactly right. How does it work? Postmarked by? December 31st. The 31st at yep. 11.59 p.m. Yep. So today we're going to talk about some of the last minute things mm -hmm. that we can kind of look at for this year, look at for next year. How can we improve? Uh, what can we do with, the, with what? One day left? Uh, tomorrow's right. the 31st. You know, the things we have to remember. Uh, we have to make our charitable contributions before the end of the year. Right. So we need to get that done. A lot of charities uh, this time of year very dependent on our goodwill. Uh, you can give money, but you can also clean your closets out, mm -hmm. give away clothes, give away stuff. You get fair market value for those items. You do have to have a written receipt, but uh, you got to remember, you don't have to necessarily give away money. You can give away some old clothes, shoes, uh, coats, household appliances. Uh, household appliances. Items, like There's lots of places that uh, are dependent on our goodwill. So I would definitely look at that. Uh, April 15th is the deadline for tax filing. Taxing. It's also Taxes. the deadline for funding an IRA. Right. You don't have to run out right here at the end of the year and fund your IRA by December 31st. Right. You have until April 15th. Um, Another uh, tip, possibly, when you're looking at your year-end uh, tax bill that is going to be coming, uh, if you've overpaid a little bit on your, on your W-4, redo your W-4 for next year so you're not giving the government a free loan mm -hmm. for a whole year on your dime. So uh, that's one thing that we can look at going into next year. Uh, uh, any, anytime you do a charitable contribution, mm -hmm. uh, if it's $250 or more, always get a receipt, uh, even for smaller amounts, but if it's 250 or more, get a receipt because you're going to have to provide written documentation of that going uh, into your tax planning. Mm -hmm. So uh, your CPA is probably going to be asking you about that uh, if you don't have one. And like you said, if you make a donation to charity and you take goods, you can get that receipt, get it right now, and you hear of spring cleaning. Why not just do it now? All yeah. those things out in the garage, just put them in the trunk and take them over. Someone can use those. Right. You know. Fair market value is a broad definition. Sure. But uh, a lot of charities will help you establish the value of what you've donated and things like that. Uh, and what uh, about flex spending? You better get busy. Flex spending accounts uh, comes up quite often. Uh, they've changed the laws a little bit. Uh, you've got a two and a half month grace period, so you don't have to run out today and tomorrow and spend all the money in your uh, flex spending account. Oh. So you've got a two and a half month period that you can. Uh, uh, that you can get the spending mm -hmm. done, but you do have to make sure you stay within that guideline. Also, there's a provision uh, to carry over uh, $500 in value into the next year. I think the key to this is know your employer plan. Know what that specific plan offers and what you can and cannot do. So uh, again, uh, probably going into next year, uh, we want to change our spending habits a little bit, mm -hmm. develop a budget. Not for a whole year. Develop a budget for the first three months. S try to stick to that. Then go another three months. Try to stick to that. If you have very little in your savings account, try to save $250 by March, another $250 by June, another $250 by September. By the end of the year, you'll have $1,000 ready for Christmas. And those are the good habits that That's if you exactly start right. slow, you can probably stick to 